Hello, magnificent people, and welcome to the first Voicing the World Late Night Noisecast. Not something I expected to be doing this evening, but after some conversations on the weekend and a friendly challenge this morning, it was suggested there might be a little extra room in the world for a little extra noise from me. The one thing I must state in no uncertain terms from the outset is that I am certain that you are all capable of getting on with your lives without hearing for any extended period of time from me. My thanks anyway to those people who suggested otherwise. The podcast is entitled Voicing the World because of an old friend of mine, Greg O'Sullivan, who once told me about the word avocatus, which he said was Latin for to have a voice in the world. It seemed a fitting concept to play on here then, given the nature of my career and the fundamental principle that I'm sat here essentially talking to myself. In the majority of my work these days, I tend to be bound by confidentiality, be it in film, television, or the case of one-to-one clients. It always feels like, outside of press conferences and similar, I never get to say very much about that which I am doing. This has recently slowed up my capacity to get excited about some of the wonderful things that my incredible circle of fellow creative artists get up to. And so, in the case of this noise cast, I feel the best possible use of it is therefore to ensure that it contains a solid section of celebration of their work and gets listeners to go and check their work out. The podcast game is an interesting one. And I work and have been on both sides, producer and presenter, editor. There's always a question as to how one gets value out of it at all. Hopefully, therefore, you can all stick with me, give the well-deserved attention to the people I celebrate, and possibly allow me the opportunity to share what I'm up to, too, somewhere in the mix. As is the time-honored tradition with these things, we naturally find ourselves turning to that which is trending out there in the social media hysteric sphere. I shall steer clear at this point of that topic which most dominates this hour of history in March 2020, but did note earlier that the world lost the legendary actor Max von Sydow today at the grand age of 90. My first memory of him was he playing an eternal game of chess against death in Ingmar Bergman's The Seventh Seal. He, of course, appeared in Star Wars The Force Awakens and Game of Thrones, among many, many others, but the lasting memory for me will always be that chess game. Speaking of Bergman, I've recently been enjoying a season of his films on Mubi.com, which, if you're not familiar with, is a quite cool online movie theatre vibe with discussion and many independent features and curated discoveries. So, I put the little video out earlier and was primarily having a bit of a laugh with it in response to this somewhat humorous challenge I was presented with this morning, but... The one part that wasn't as such was the music featured by Alex Monk. The track Moondust from his Flying Machines record, New Life. I thoroughly recommend. You must go check out anything Alex is ever involved with creatively because I guarantee you it will always be moving and beauteous. In the video, I also touched upon some of my voiceover work and the manner in which I use poetry and prose as a vocal workout to smooth out the creases in my voice each morning, as it were. Uh, I read an extract from Gutierrez's Dirty Havana trilogy, the Hispanic rhetorical identity of which speaks to my musical approach to language in a consistent way. My long-term awareness, enjoyment, and practice with 20th and 21st century Hispanic writers having seen me through many creative developments over the years particularly through interactions with Pablo Neruda and Oscar Hijuelos, among many others. I was also asked this weekend about my morning routine, a laughable concept to me, that my morning routine should be of any interest to anybody out there, but if anything is at all of interest, I guess it is essentially my loosening up of all of the creative flows that are required for the day, vocally, instrumentally, or otherwise, to Uh, clear the mechanism, as it were, and uh, enable all to flow. Through my public speaking and speechwriting coaching entity, Sinospeak, I utilize poetry and prose in this manner, and I'm looking forward to announcing an exciting new partnership with an online course provider very soon, 
which will enable us to reach clients beyond the time-limited one-to-one capacity in which we currently operate. And of course, more information to follow here once all of that is underway. So, here I am, and I guess turns out there are things to be said, especially about others in my circle who do very cool things. First up then, the composer Rebecca Applin, whose original music can presently be heard in the Beauty Parade on at the Wales Millennium Centre until the 14th of March and lauded recently by the Guardian newspaper. Applin has imagined elements of British sign language, signed poetry and handshapes in music and song with stunning effect. So, if you're in Cardiff, be sure to get your ticket. Lord of the Geordies, guitarist and composer Chris Montague returns with his new band and their eponymous album Warmer Than Blood, which drops on May the 8th, featuring Montague, Kit Downs and Ruth Goller. I've had the privilege of hearing some of the material up front, and I can tell you it is spectacular. Of course, once again, more information to follow on this show with regards to tour dates and uh, record drops and otherwise in the months to come. Finally this week, be sure to check out new jazz vocalist on the scene, Isabel Pierce, who is forging an exciting path through the standards-based jazz scene, bringing live music to hitherto silent spaces with an encouraging and impressive sweep. Pierce hits the brewery tap in Brentford this Friday 13th of March from 8.30pm. So get yourselves there if you're in town. The substantive shift for me in recent years has been the wonderful opportunity to embrace a once dominant aspect of my performance work once again. Should all recover globally, as we all attempt to hope for at this moment, in the coming weeks and months, I very much look forward to sharing news of developments therein on this show. News from yet more wonderful individuals with whom I work and celebrations of all there is to come. Until next week then, this has been the first late night voice in the world noisecast. I'm Michael L. Roberts. Check out Alex Monk, Rebecca Applin, Chris Montague and Isabel Pierce in the links below and ever onward to you all.